If you're an Uber or Lyft driver, this next story is a prime example of why you should have a gun on you while you're literally picking up strangers in your car. The police say that a Lyft driver shot at two men attempting to take his car in one of the city's latest attempted carjackings. And these two guys in the 20s intentionally rear end this infinity. That's the thing that's happening right now. They bump you to make you stop and get out. And they do it right in front of people, so they don't even care. And this infinity driver has a woman passenger in his back seat, and it takes two bumps for him to say, hey, what's going on? And when he gets out, the passenger in a Honda gets out with an automatic rifle and points it at him, again, in front of witnesses. And he gets out with his hands up and says, hey, you can have my car, but let me get this lady out. I'm a Lyft driver. Let me get her out because you don't want to take her and have a kidnapping. So they let him get her out of there. And then he waits for the carjacker to get into his car. Then he pulls his gun and he has a concealed carry permit because you would think every Lyft driver and Uber driver who doesn't want to die on the job would have that as well. Here's the second scene. This is where his car ends up just about two blocks away. And look at the bullet holes. He blows the driver through the window, through the door handle, through the door frame, hits that guy at least twice in the torso. And that guy stops just three blocks away, right on Parkside Avenue, right at Fairmount Park, and falls out of the driver's side. And people call police thinking, hey, there's a shooting victim here. Meantime, he then turns to the Honda and shoots that driver through the passenger side of that. That guy makes it two blocks in the opposite direction after making a U-turn, and he collapses at Lancaster and 43rd Street. And then some more people call cops there. Meanwhile, he calls the police with his female passenger and witnesses who tell police the whole story, and they realize these two guys that they rushed to the hospital are now not victims, but prisoners. This 38-year-old Lyft driver, after being rear-ended and carjacked, he pulled his weapon and fired shots at both vehicles. The vehicle that was stolen from him fired shots at the Honda. The driver who had the getaway car struck both of these individuals and now they're both at the hospital as prisoners. Very dangerous situation. Fortunately, our Lyft driver, our victim, wasn't shot because he had a rifle put to him and our Lyft driver had a weapon that he used and he shot both of the perpetrators. I'll be the first to admit that being in an Uber or Lyft can create a false sense of security. Sure, if you're a driver, you have some concern about the passenger, or if you're a passenger, you have some concern about the driver, but you rarely stop to think that someone is going to try to carjack you in Uber or Lyft, but it happens and it's increasing. The nonprofit newsroom, The Markup, confirmed on July 22nd, 2021, that there were confirmed 124 carjackings and attempted carjackings of ride hail drivers across the country. I want you to keep in mind that Lyft drivers are not allowed to carry guns. Lyft has a strict no weapons policy for all of its properties. This includes Lyft hubs and service centers. Our no weapons policy applies when you are doing business as a representative of Lyft, which includes times that you are driving for Lyft, as well as times that you are visiting a Lyft hub. This means that even in places where it is legal to carry a weapon, we ask that you do not carry a weapon on any Lyft properties. We approach this from a community perspective. It's hard to know what someone else is or isn't comfortable with, so the mere presence of a weapon might make other community members distressed and fear for his or her own safety. Now, the thing that frustrates me most about this policy is that it's not about actually keeping people safe, it's about making people feel safe. However, looking at this from a lawyer perspective, honestly, this policy is clearly written to shield themselves from liability if something were to go wrong with a driver and a weapon. Now, that being said, Uber's policies don't supersede the law. So if you're allowed to carry a firearm based on the laws in your state and or city, the worst Uber or Lyft can do is fire you. And if you're an Uber or Lyft driver in Philadelphia, the chances of you probably needing that gun to protect yourself from carjackings are increasing because the carjackings in Philadelphia are through the roof right now. This isn't isolated. Police are reporting dramatic increases over the last few years. The number of carjackings jumped from 225 in 2019 to 409 last year. And to date, in 2021, there have been 720. At the end of the day, the only person responsible for your safety is you. If something happens to you, Lyft won't be there. Uber won't be there. So do yourself a favor and go buy a gun. Learn to use it safely and get training. 
There are literally courses that teach you how to use a gun for protection in and around a car or at bare minimum, watch some of the videos that I posted about using a gun in and around a vehicle to give you some perspective. But real quick, before you go watch another one of my videos, I want you to do something for me. The next time you're having a conversation with someone who is anti second amendment, I want you to ask them one simple question. Do you know what the Second Amendment actually says? Good friend of mine. So what does the Second Amendment say, though? It doesn't say people in the militia. What does it say? Let's 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 see. Let's see if I can if I can remember. I got to memorize. So go ahead. All right. All right. Um, a well-regulated militia. Um, being necessary to the being necessary to the security of the people's rights. No, no. Being necessary to the security of a free of the, state. Of the free state, um, and the and the rights to the, bear arms should not be infringed. No, the right of the people the to right keep the people to keep, keep and bear, bear arms. arms should not be infringed. God, man, you really had to walk me through that. Ugh. Most anti 2 way people have no clue what the Second Amendment says. They just parrot what the anti-gun lobby tells them. That's why I came out with the if you know, you know design. In each of these letters is a famous two-way quote along with the actual wording of the Second Amendment. So the next time you're having a conversation with someone who is anti 2 way and doesn't know the actual words of the Second Amendment, now you can point to your shirt that you just got and now they know. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.